from previous chapter we have seen about normal subgroup okay we will use again this normal subgroup in this chapter okay so let g be a group and h a subgroup of g let g be a group and h is a subgroup of g then h is normal in g h is normal in g okay. if the left coset are equal to the right coset Or we say the left and right cosets coincide. Okay, so this means they are equal. And from the previous chapter, we have seen you don't have to list all the cosets. You don't have to list all the concept because instead of doing this, you can check this, right? As one way to show that it is normal. So X inverse HX is a subgroup of H or you can say x inverse hx is an element of h. See the difference in whether it's a sub set subgroup or element. Okay, for this one, x inverse small hx is 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 it in h or not? Okay. So this is the easiest actually to see whether it is normal or not normal to show it is not normal actually this is the one take any x take take any x in g take any h in h and the inverse and multiply find the right one and show that it is not in h to show it is not normal okay to show it is normal you just have to show for all okay if the number of left and right coset not that many, then you can actually just list and see. Okay, and you have to know if it's a billion, then it's normal. Okay, and in the center of the group, subgroup center is always normal. And if the index is two, right? If the index is two, it's normal. So those properties. Okay. Now we want to introduce a special sequence of subgroups of a group. We call it subnormal series. Okay, this is not like the series you learn in calculus. You remember you learn What's the name of the series? Series and sequences, right? This is different. This is series of groups or subgroups. Okay. So a subnormal, sometimes people call it a sub invariant, right? So a subnormal series, let G be a group. And H not H one until H N the sub subgroups of G. Okay. okay. So let G be a group 
and you have all these subgroups of G. Then, H not H one until H N is called a subnormal series of G if H I is a subgroup of H I plus one. Somebody's stomach is growing. HI is a normal subgroup of HI plus one. Again, not only is a subgroup, it is a normal subgroup. Okay. With H not the first one is the trivial subgroup and Hn is the whole group. Okay. <coughs> now, if all of the subgroups are normal, you see this one this is normal to the next one. <laughs> but if, if <coughs> HI is normal in G, okay, <coughs> then we call it a normal series. One is normal to the next one, but normal to the whole one. Okay. Hmm. So this one, this one, maybe in this case is normal okay so if i want to change normal a uh, subnormal to normal i will change each of this is normal in g okay that is that is the difference all right so let's see an example If you have an abelian group, if G is abelian, okay, a normal series will imply subnormal, right? But not the other way around. It might not be normal, right? For the whole group. A normal series always exists for an arbitrary group. Because even if you don't have a normal subgroup for any group G, this is always normal, right? So even if you don't have a proper normal subgroup, if a group is simple, it does not have a proper normal subgroup. Okay, in that case, if a group G is simple, this is the series. Okay, so in all the group, they always have a 
normal series. We also have normal series because this is the simplest one. Okay. <clears throat> if you have, it will be longer if you have H in between. Like this. Okay. If you have this, by if you have just this short one, this is always normal, right? This is normal to anything. So if also H is normal in G, this is a normal series. This is also a subnormal series. Okay, you cannot have this not normal because to be subnormal, it has to normal to the next one. So automatically, you have this. Okay, and also if you have a proper, if you have a center which is not equal and not equal. If you have a proper center, okay, not proper, non-trivial. If you have a proper non-trivial center, then you will have this series also because center is always normal. So if you are given a group and the question is, to find one normal or subnormal series. The easiest one is to put the center in the middle, okay? If you have to find this. Another one is if the index is two, right? If you can find a subgroup in which the index is two, definitely this normal, then you will have a normal series, okay? Or if the question gives you already the normal series, show this is a normal series. How do you show it? You have to show this one is normal to the next one, right? For the subnormal, for the normal series, you have to show this each and every one subgroup is normal to the whole group. So imagine if the series, the length is long, then how do you show? You don't want to show one by one by definition. It will take time. Okay. Now, next, I will start first with the center, no center, a billion group. Okay. So, take note to do my first. All right. I want to write that then I will erase. If G is a billion, as I mentioned, all subgroups are normal. Okay, so in this example, it's in the second example in the printed one, you see the group Z. And the operation is addition modulo 12. Okay. So all subgroups are normal because it is an abelian group. I don't want to use the word commutative. For group, I want to use abelian group, yeah? Is it competitive there? Mm. <laughs> so I want to use actually because it is an abelian group, okay, all subgroups are normal. Okay, now you remember last time I give you the subgroup lattice, right? So 12 is 2 squared times 3, right? So, two, right, and then four, then you have three, two, four, and then you have three, you also have six, right? Or one, two, three, four, 
6, 12. That's another way. And this is the one. Hey, sorry, 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 sorry. This is wrong. This is not what I mean. I mean this, not that. So not Z. Z. Z2 is not a, a subgroup of Z12. They are different. This is what I mean. I meant something else. I write something else. Okay, this is order six. This is order four, right? The order is you divide, generated by two. Okay, and this is contained inside. That's why it's right under. Okay, so this is the subgroup of Z12. And any of this subgroup, they are a billion, so it's normal. So we can have so many normal series. So you can easily list all possible normal series. Let me try the shortest one. The shortest one will be this and then this, right? That's the shortest one. What is, what is, what is it? Do you see this in my notes? Huh? I don't even know why. <laughs> it should be this. <laughs> so there shouldn't be a bracket around, yeah? <laughs> it should be just this generated by it. Okay. Now, okay, this, that is the shortest. Now, I think actually better do the longest was the shortest. Okay, next one will be, you have to start, you remember the definition, you have to start from the trivial one and end with the group. Okay, you have to start with this and end with Z12. So the next one will be like this, right? And then, so I take the, the, the a bit longer one, three, this is two, right? Not three. I can go here. So I can go here. I can go here. I can also go here. So I can have six. I can also have three, right? I can also have Oh, longer one. Okay, this is done. Three, yeah? Now four. Four. One, two, three, four. I can go one, two, three, four also. Ah, I should have put it. <laughs> okay, I erase this because now it's four, yeah? Zero, six, three, twelve. Any more? Zero, six, two, twelve. Right? So I think I probably did not cover all because I only have zero six twelve. I can have so the four I have one, two, three for the four, yeah. Zero six three zero six two. Hmm. Okay. And anything else? So I can have three one is this. I can have this. I can have this. I can have this. Shall? Any more? Done. 
So in each one of these, this is the first one, this is the last one, okay? And then they are all a billion, so they are all normal. This is normal to this, this is normal to this, this is normal to this, but they are all normal to this. So this is also subnormal, this is also normal series. And these are all possible normal and subnormal series of Z12, yeah? Okay. Now we go to the not abelian one. After this, I should change list all possible, list all possible subnormal and normal series. Okay. Now, S4, yeah? S4. Before we start with S4, let us do S3. Okay. What are the subgroup of this? Remember, generated by one, two, one, three. Two, three, one, two, three. Okay, these are all subgroups of S3. Okay. One week is too long for a break. <laughs> I forgot the attendance of like this. I even forget I did not bring back the webcam. <laughs> okay, so if you still remember, because one week is too long for a break, <laughs> what are the normal subgroup of S3? Anybody want to give the answer? Give me a normal subgroup of S3. Tan, I haven't heard you for so long. Identity, identity. Fun, fun. I don't want identity, I want something else. Oh. I want a subgroup that is normal. I said earlier, the easiest would be the center, but the center is this, right? The second easier will be subgroup in which the index is two. Okay, what is the group order? What is the order of G? Huh? <laughs> what is the order of G? One week is too long. Six. Okay. Give me a subgroup of index two. What is the order of the subgroup if the index is two? One, two, three. This one. That is the answer. The question is, what is the order of the subgroup in which the index is two? What is the order? One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two, one, three, two, three. One, two, one, three, two, three. The question is, what is the order? I asked them, uh, just a very simple question. Oh, order is two is one, two, one, three, two, three. That one, is not order. That is not order. What is the order of the subgroup in which the index is two? In another word, C 
six divided by what is equal to two? <laughs> huh? What's the answer? Three. This is the question. Okay. You. This is what I said. The e the easiest way to find a subgroup which is normal is when the index is two. When the index is two, and since you know the index is this over this, right? You want it to be two. You know this is six. So my question is, what is the order of H? Six over what is two? So the answer is three. When the answer is three, then you look at here. Which one has order? Three. Then Tan give this. Hassan give this. So you jump to the answer. I haven't asked the question. <laughs> okay. So now this one is this, right? Because this is normal. Why is it normal? The index is two. This we have shown in previous chapter in the example, it is not normal. Okay, it is not normal. So you cannot put inside as part of the series because the series say this to the next one has to be normal. Okay, so you cannot put this one inside because it's not normal. So this is the only one. This is the only subnormal series or normal series. Right? Because it's normal, it's subnormal. You understand so far? The reaction. <laughs> Do you understand? <laughs> I have to make sure you understand before I move on. <laughs> okay? Wally, are you here? Yes, your, yes. Internet is, your internet is not okay. Yes, Empty none, how are you? Fine, teacher. Yeah, your internet is okay because I cannot see it your face. Okay, uh, so weak, Rob. Okay, if it is weak, it's okay. You cannot turn on the video, I can understand. As long as you are there, not just the name. <laughs> okay? So, it's okay, right? Okay. Now, we don't have any other. We have to move on to the next example. S4. Now, if you remember, S4 has 24 elements. I never ask you to list all subgroups yet, but we know S4 has a subgroup of order 4. Any of them, right? Okay. And S4 also has subgroup of order 8. This is order 4. And then we have also subgroup of order 3, right? And many of them of order 3. We also have subgroup of order 2. Many of them. And some of these order true, true, 2. <laughs> are also subgroups of the subgroups of order four. Some of these are subgroup of that. <clears throat> or not, if they are inside. Yeah, some of them. Because some of these, oh no, one, two, three, four, one, three, two, four, one, two, three, four, maybe not. Maybe they are not. But you have to list. But we do have subgroups of order eight. Okay, if you put in 
you put in elements of order four with elements of order two. They are. You can show in there are three subgroups of order eight. Okay, there are many subgroups of order four. So if I ask you again, give me one normal subgroup. Give me one normal subgroup of S4. Then this is order 24. So you want to find a subgroup of order 12. Do you know? You have to know. There is a name. What is the name? Huh? A alternating group right because the it's the permutation of all even permutation so it's half okay so in it so this is always normal so this is always a normal subgroup okay so you already get one series hmm. now if you want to break up longer, if you want to put A4 here, this is order 12. If you can find something of order 6, okay, if there is, this will be normal because this is order 12. If you can have another one of order, I call it, of order 3. There is of order three, right? If you can find one, this is also normal because the index is two. This is normal to this. The index is two, the index is two. So this will be the subnormal series. Subnormal series. But to check whether it's a normal series or not, you have to show whether, you have to show whether this is normal or not. This is normal or not? Okay, so additional work for normal series. Subnormal is only checking the next one. Okay, so if there is this subgroup, they are already normal because the index is two. But to show it's normal series or not, you have to show whether it is normal or not to the big group, to the original group. Okay. Okay, now I already give in the notes. Okay. The easiest one would be, I want to use this. Next time I will change my notes to this. Because they're all permutation. So instead of putting all just the trivial, we want to put to subgroup, trivial subgroup generated by the identity. Okay. This is one. The next one is what is V? Okay, what is V? <clears throat> this is actually a very famous group or subgroup. We call it Klein four group. Okay, I think it's in chapter two. Let me see. I don't have the chocolate to give you if you call me. <laughs> but I I'm I think I have client for in my notes somewhere. Okay. 
Example or page? Page number two. I mean, it's, it's under example, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Example number two. Example number twelve. Example one point one, number twelve. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I remember. I have it. I'm not that old. <laughs> Page what? Page six. Page six. Okay, chapter one. Page six. Number twelve. Ah. It's very famous actually. That is the hard way to define. That is an easy way to define also. This group is a billion. Okay. You have you have three elements A, B, C, and I. Okay. Ah, I don't want to erase. Okay. Each one square is one. I is the identity. This is the identity. So this square, this square is I. So the order of I is one. The order of A, B, another tone here. Okay, that It's two. Okay, and they're all a billion. A B is B A, which is equal to C. A C is C A, which is equal to B. B C is C B, which is equal to A. So you can see. A commute with B, A commute with C, B commute with C. So they commute. It's a billion. Okay. So this, and the, the name is Klein for, it's from German. Group. <laughs> you can type and you can press sound in Google. Then you can hear German. Group. I cannot even pronounce. Okay. This isomorphic to Z2 plus Z2. Okay, if you put this as I just use now small letter, I don't want to use capital. Okay, isomorphic to this, and this is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Easy to see, right? This is the easy way to see the elements. This is of order one, this is of order two, or the two, or the two. Okay? And then you have a subgroup of order one, subgroup of order two, subgroup of order two, subgroup of order two. So this V This is the subgroup lattice. Okay. This all this order four, this order two, this order one. And since the index is two, they're all normal. And also a, a, a billion is all normal. It's a, a billion group. Okay, now if you want to match this to S4, what are the elements of V, which is isomorphic to a subgroup? in S4, meaning we have to find one element in S4, and one subgroup of S4 of order four, and each one has order two. Last time you already found, right? You remember? Forgot already. Maybe you remember this. You remember this? 
We've seen this before, right? Because this is order two, this is order two, this is order two. And then this multiply this is this, this multiply this, because this is the inverse, right? This multiply this is this, and this multiply this is this. So this is a subgroup, all right? So this is the subgroup of S4, which is isomorphic to the client form. Okay, but not this, only we have another one, right? One, three, two, four, right? There's another one, right? What is it? One, four, two, three. And another one, right? What? One, two, one, three, one, four. Done. No more. <laughs> one, two, one, three, one, four. Two, three, there. Two, four, done. Three, four. Done. Okay, no more. Okay, so either one is isomorphic to V. Okay, now how do you show that this is a subnormal series or also a normal series? How do you show it? The index is eh? <laughs> this is order 24, this is order 4. How can the index is 2? The index is not two in this case. The index is six. So if the index is two, you say it's normal. But if it is normal, does not mean the index must be two. So the index in this case is six, but it is still normal. Okay, you can only use if the index is two is normal. Okay, now I give you a normal one. The index is not two. But how do you show it's normal? This is question four, test two. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is show this is a normal series. So you have to show first, this is normal in S4, okay? Since, since, um, since true for, since all trivial subgroup is normal to the whole group, right? Okay, how do you actually show this? You remember we show with x inverse h x is in h, right? So if h is e, you take h is inside. So x is in g, x inverse h x is x inverse e x is e, which is in H because H is a subgroup. This is the proof. If I haven't shown this before, Anna, you cannot see the whiteboard in there. Not clear. Or you want to see the real whiteboard? <laughs> you can see there, no? <laughs> okay. So how do you? Probably it's a, another good test question, right? Show sure, very easy. Sometimes if the question is too easy, it's too obvious, I cannot even show it too obvious. <laughs> show why the trivial subgroup is normal in the whole group. So this is the definition of the normal. H is normal in T. Right? So we take X inverse H, X 
before I put H, right? But taking one element, show it's an element. So H, if it is just E, the, uh, the one inside is just E. You replace X inverse HX. X can be anything. So just replace the H with E. You multiply, it's just E. And this is in H because H is a subgroup. Okay? So that is one. Next one. Okay, next one. Not yet. This is the easy one. Now, number two. So, V is normal in S4. Okay? How do you show this? You cannot say the index is 2 <laughs> because the index is not 2. Yes, yeah. Hassan, how do you show this is normal? Maybe we use the normal subgroup test. Which is? Which is H, uh, X, uh, H, X inverse element of H. Whether it's in here, right? Mm. Oh, oh, sorry. No, element of H. Yeah. Or oh, this, right? Yes. Okay. You know, if, if <coughs> X is H, eh, sorry, if X is in H, if this X is in H, you multiply element of H, the inverse is close, right? If this is in H, if this is in H, this is also in H, the inverse also in H, they are all in H, all right? So, So what you want to show is take x in S4, but not in H. Okay, this is what you have to show. Take x in S4, but not in H. Then show this, right? How many do you have to show? How many has I? We show, I think it's 16. We have 20, 20, 20. H has four elements. So you have to check 20. Mm. So you have to take 20. Inverse multiplied by element in H, okay, multiply again by X. So many times because there are four elements in H that you have to try with 20 elements. So 20 times 4, 80 times you have to check, right? The same thing if you want to find the cosec. Okay, how many cosec? 24 divided by 4, 6 cosec. 6 cosec is actually not that many, right? So you just take one by one by one because you can cancel and get the rest. So you can also do by cosec. List all the left cosec and all the right cosec. I am not going to do it now because it's lengthy, but it's straightforward. So you have to finish and do it, okay? So you have to show that this is a normal subgroup. Just show that V is normal in S4. Okay, I will move on to another one. So do that, yeah? You can list all six left and right cosec, but there are many to multiply because the inside is four Multiply with the 20 elements. Another one is 
Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. All right. For in this case, and now what's the index? Two. All right. This is two, this is four. The index here, although it is six, but we have shown it is normal. This is subnormal series. Right? Because I don't have to check, just check the index, right? This is also two, but this is normal to anything. Even if it's not two, it is normal. Okay, this is the, the trivial one. Okay, this is normal to this. This is normal to this, because the index is two. This is normal to this, we have shown it. Okay, now it's subnormal series. Now, is it a normal series? Is it a normal series? You have to check. This is normal in here, yes. Because trivial subgroup is normal to the whole group. This, is it normal to this? Ah. Also, you have to check. Homework, not assignment, yeah? Homework means next class you tell me. If this is normal to this, then yes, it become normal series because this is normal to this already. This is normal to this. This is normal to this. This is already normal to this. This is already normal to this. Just this one, is it normal to the whole S4? Okay. In this case, actually, you can do a quick coset because 24 divided by 2, 12 coset, but multiplying is just two of them. Otherwise, you just have to do, again, 24 minus 2, right? 22 times. Okay. All right. And then I have another one. Okay, I have that. C2. Okay, and then I have this. I have... Before, if okay, so this is order twelve. This is order twenty-four. This is order four. This is order one. So in this case, you know this is normal because the order, the index is two. Okay, this is normal because this is always normal. So you just need to see whether this is normal or not. The answer is yes. Okay, you can show this. So this is order 12, this is order 4. You only have three coset. So just find the three left coset and right coset. A good exercise to multiply permutation. And suppose the answer is yes, then we know that this is subnormal. And then you try, is this normal? Yes. Is this normal to this? Yes, just now. Is this normal to this? Yes. So if this is true, then we have subnormal and we also have normal. Okay. And finally, the last one will be the longest one for this subgroup, for this group. So you have to, any homework now? I think this is number three, right? To show, point. Okay, and last one is C2, B4, A4, S4. Okay, this is the easy one because Hana, the index is 
<laughs> Although this the index is three, but just now we want to show, right? The index is two. Um, this one. So if just now we have shown it, so this is okay here. So the index is two. And everybody is still here. Okay, nobody is out already. It rains quite heavily in, in UTM. Those from JB, who's at JB? Vian, is it raining at your place? Yes, bro. Yes. Raining? Yes, raining. <laughs> That's Malaysia, right? Lavo, you are still at your hometown? Uh, yes, doctor. Where is it? Uh, so I have to put that up. Vera, is it okay? It's very hot here. <laughs> but the cases, are they high or okay? Yes. I, I think yesterday is 100 cases. 100 cases just yesterday? Yeah. Okay. So just stay at home. <laughs> what about Hassan? You still in, in, in Afghanistan, right? <laughs> Very cool? Yes, yeah, cool. I don't miss winter actually. I don't really like cold. <laughs> then I oh, wear. Because, yeah, you stayed at US, no? In US. Yeah, but I don't like. <coughs> I, mm. I cannot stand also. Although I stayed there for almost 10 years. <laughs> mm. I don't like the, the snow, although it's like higher than us, but still. Malaysia raining is cold, which is good in a way uh -huh. you get wet but it's cold and we don't have to wear layers so just one layer is enough <laughs> all right so that's pretty much for uh, this this uh, first section okay there are many other series let me check i have time for one more series okay which we call it central series so we have already subnormal series we already have normal series this is very also very important johor baru yesterday and eh, not johor baru johor yesterday is also 100 case so i hope this will be over soon. Okay. Definition, which page in your... Hmm? I did not Just now it's the same thing. Okay, so we have a series of subgroups. The first one is the trivial one. The last one has to be G. Okay, and each subsequent one is a subgroup of the other one. All right. Okay. Now, this is called a central series. If the successive quotient are central, what does that mean? That means HI to H plus 1 over HI is in I normally don't use that one. I use the other one, the upper central series. This is actually, okay. Actually, it's much easier to define with this, but it's the same thing. The successive quotient are central, okay? So the one bigger, Modulo, modulo is the quotient group of the one previously is equal to the center of the whole G modulo 
the same h i for all i. Okay. All right. Okay. Example. Why I don't get any example in here? Mm, 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 mm. Example D four. Okay. Example D four. Alama. <laughs> I don't want to erase, then I have to show. Okay. Now let G equal equal. Okay. So probably we have a series like this. Okay, now my question is why? And how is this normal in D4? You can say, what? The index is not two. The order is eight, the order is two, right? But why is this normal? Because, why is it normal? Because, since this is the center, right? It's the center, so it is normal, okay? Okay, so I choose that. And then, oh, I want to show what? I, it's not that I want to show it's normal, I want to show what I erase. <laughs> oh, she comes for. This, right? Okay, I want to show that. If I can show that, then I can say this is an upper central series. Okay. All right. Okay. So now, this is H1, H2, and G, right? Okay, so when I is 1, H2 mod H1 is R1 AP mod E. Okay, now, Clean. H mod E is always isomorphic to H. Or G mod E is isomorphic to G. How do you show? Don't divide and cancel the E. <laughs> what does it mean by this? This is coset, factor group. This is a subgroup, this is a factor group. Then you have to go back to the basic. What does it mean? Suppose we want to see this, right? Okay. See what happened after one hour of class? Cannot think anymore, right? <laughs> That's why, especially it's online, especially it's math. <laughs> How can you go on and on and then I have to think like more than one hours going flat. Let me show you probably something easy. I, I don't want to use H. I use. If we use to use H, then you got confused. You remember when we first learned about coset, right? If you have, I've never seen, shown this because it's too easy, but we tend to forget what it means. We want to find the coset, okay? In this case, the order of this is 
It's four, right? So you cannot say the factor group is actually is equal to G because the factor group consists of sets, right? Remember? Hmm. Forget already because midterm break. <laughs> so we want to find what is G mod H. So if you remember, we write like this H is E. Okay. And then we take G is E A B C. So when we when we uh, write H is just E, which is E times H, right? Then we cancel the E. And then we take another one. A H, right? A H. What is A H? A. A. That's only one, so it's not equal to anything else. And then we have D H, and then we have C H. So actually, G mod H is equal to H. A H B H C H. So the factor group has also four elements in which each one is a set. B A. This is equal to B. This is equal to C. You remember partition? Okay. So you cannot say this is equal to G, but this is isomorphic to. G, isomorphic. This we can map, map to this, right? This is map to the coefficient. One to one, on two, result operation. Okay? So you have to remember when this is the trivial subgroup, the coset is isomorphic to the original group G. Okay? Because it's not equal. They are cosets are singletons, meaning each one has only one element inside. Okay, so then I go back to my original this. Okay, I want to show this. So this is isomorphic to just R180. Okay, I want to show this, right? When I is one, what is the center? of D4 mod when I is 1 is H1, right? Which is equal to the center of D4 mod E which is the, the isomorphic to Z of D4. You see the difference? We want to show, we want to show when I is 1, H2 mod H1 is Z, Z mod H1. Okay, so oh, today I forgot another second. This is too much. The YouTube video of my video. Okay, so all right. I I I repeat. The center. You want to show this, right? Okay. First, H2 mod H1 is R180 mod E, which is isomorphic to R180 because of this. Okay. The next one is the center of D4 mod H1 is replace H1 by E. So D4 mod E is D4. And what is the center of D4? Is R180. So C the difference in between equal and the isomorphism. Why is it isomorphism? Because I'm replacing D4 mod E with D4. Why is it equal? Because this is center of D4 is this, all right? And are they equal? They are equal, okay? So this is the first part. The second part to show is when I is two, 
we have to show H3 is G, right? Right? I lost my sequence. <laughs> what is the sequence? It's E. e. What? E. R180. And D4, right? Mm. Okay, that is. Okay, so my H3 mod H2. H, H, I start with one or is it not? Do I start with H not or H not? H not, right? So it should be H not. So I is supposed to be start from zero, right? Because I start this, I call it earlier haze, right? So you, it doesn't matter. You when, where do you start it with? So if you call this H naught, I start from zero. So you can just change this one, zero, right? Okay, now an ice one. So you have H2 mod H1, which is actually D4 mod R180. Okay, this is order eight, this is order two. So this is a coset of order four okay so the order of this is four okay so if you have a group of order four you have only two possibilities that it is cyclic or it is isomorphic to Z2 plus Z2. There is no way you can have a group of order four which is not a billion. Okay? Group of order four is either cyclic which is a billion or Z2 plus Z2 which is also a billion. Okay? In both cases, I'm not going to you can actually write out what is the group, but I just put this, which is actually equal to the center, right? Because the center of an abelian group is the whole group. So this is the group, which is abelian. So the center of this whole group is that whole group. So I have shown that this is also true for the second case. Okay, then you go back and you can redo this. So this is actually the example of uh, the shortest example, so not trivial for central series. Okay, and from this, I add a little bit more before I erase that G is now important of class N okay, if it has a central series of length N. Okay, so this one is called length two. One, two. Okay, this is a central series, upper central or lower central, lower is going down, or central series of length two. So from this, we say D4 is now potent of class two. Okay, so let me write this out.
this is the title of my PhD thesis. Okay, what I have to do is I have to classify all two generator. You know, one generator is cyclic. Two generator is this is the last or towards the last chapter. Yeah, I haven't. But if G is not cyclic, it can be generated by more than one element. Like D4 is not cyclic, it can be generated by one rotation, one reflection. Okay. And this is the minimum number of generator for my research. And two groups means it has order power of two. Two groups. And I choose Napoton C class two. So I have to grind out all the central series and so on. And I have to classify everything. Any group that you want to call it this group, it has to belong on this classification. Then from there, then you can find applications and so on. Okay, so just this one can be one PhD. <laughs> All right, any question before I end the class? If not, then you have to react. Okay? Not okay? She already gave me a love. Ah, I give you this. <laughs> okay.